Hey LEGO fans and welcome back to MB Bricks. My name is Maya and today we are going to be looking at a new Jurassic Park mock and my first build from the third movie in the Jurassic Park franchise. If you can't tell already, I have built the Pteranodon Aviary, which is the first time we actually get to see these flying dinosaurs in action. If you like Jurassic Park builds, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's dive into this mock. As my first Jurassic Park 3 build, I knew I wanted to go pretty big with this mock. I had started collecting Pteranodons last year as I was preparing to do this build eventually. I was intimidated at the thought of trying to put the cage part together, and so I kept avoiding starting it. I knew I had a specific vision for the scene and wanted to perfect it, and I'm so happy with the end result. There was a lot of trial and error, and these flexible pieces were the right fit, but needed to be adjusted a lot to keep them as rigid as possible. I think the few sections that are slightly warped or uneven actually adds to the authenticity of the cage being old and not well taken care of, and therefore looks great. I started the build with adding in the graded plates for the platform our heroes are walking along unknowingly in a birdcage when they first climb down these stairs. The walkway was originally completely enclosed for safety, however over time some of the structure has begun to come apart in certain areas. The crew begins to descend as they are trying to get down to the water in hopes of finding a boat to get off the island. The staircase actually breaks underneath Alan Grant's footing, making this route impossible. Still unaware of being in a large cage, they decide to cross this rickety bridge with no covering to the other side. I can imagine this was probably an access point for Jurassic Park workers to get to the animals. The entire cage is covered in thick fog, making it near impossible to see. They each begin crossing the bridge one at a time to avoid the bridge breaking, and unfortunately when young Eric begins walking across, that's when the Pteranodon appears and takes off with Eric in her clutches. Eric's parents, Paul and Amanda Kirby, begin running across the bridge to get to Eric, while Alan, Grant, and Billy run around the outside of the cage. Chaos erupts as they try to save Eric, who has been dropped off in the Pteranodon nest to feed the baby dinosaurs. Several adult pteranodons can be seen flying around the cage, and I created these little brick-built babies to be chasing Eric across these peaks. The aviary was constructed between outside mountains, and so I've built up the rockwork in the back and covered with sporadic foliage. The cage itself is created using these flexible hose pieces and a base frame up the sides and across the roof to attach them all. I tried a few more complicated ways to assemble the cage, but it turns out that simple was better, and I am happy with how it turned out. The ground is covered with dark blue tiles to represent the water covering most of the ground, with small peaks sticking up throughout. The water leads to a small ground area, which eventually leads out of the cage to the docks. And that covers everything for my build of the Pteranodon Aviary from Jurassic Park 3. If you want to see more Jurassic Park or World videos, do check the description below for a link to a playlist of all those types of builds on my channel. If you haven't already, please do subscribe as it does help out my channel a lot. Thanks so much for checking out this video today guys, and until next time, keep on building!